In this step, I am using the 2B pencil. The B means it's a softer lead, but the low number of a 2 means it's a little bit harder and stronger than our 6B pencil. That is important for this step as we are going to mark out all of the really dark shadows, but we don't want to fully blend them yet. Okay, fade out every shadow just a little bit, but do not blend with your finger or with your blending stump. Make sure that you are constantly checking your reference photo or your still life that is visibly in front of you right now for those shadows. Remember, you are looking just for the dark number 10 values on your value scale. Nothing else right now, just your level 10. Now it is your turn. Using your reference photo and your paper, mark out all the level 10 shadows on yours. Now that you have identified all the darkest level 10 shadows, it is time to start looking for those medium midtones. Remember to refer back to your value scale. Not all values are the same shade. I want to see all shades from 1 to 10. Make sure that your value scale is sitting in front of you when we are working on this project for the entire time. I want to see it go from the very darkest dark all the way to the whitest light. In this stage, I am using the 6B pencil because it is extremely soft, which means it'll make a really nice and easy way to blend your pencil. You need to be aware that when you're using a 6B pencil, it can look very dark if you put any pressure at all. Your paper, no, I'm sorry, your pencil should barely be touching your paper. You need to be very, very gentle and it does not take a lot of pressure because of how soft the lead is. You can change your pressure and that will change the value that you are drawing with. So in order to get all 10 values on our value scale, you need to vary the pressure you are using. But remember to always, always refer back to your reference photo. Make sure you get all the shadows drawn in the correct place. You are still not blending. Not with your finger, not with a blending stump. 